Have you ever wondered how you can use one keyboard, one mouse for several computers at the same time? <laughs> yes, I'm going to show it to you. This is my laptop and this is a Dell PC where the keyboard and mouse is connected to and we can jump in from one PC to another PC simultaneously if we want to. Now we're going to use a software called Mouse Without Borders by Microsoft. I'll place a link on the description below. You can click that one and jump into right there. So let's get started. I'm going to show you to you how you can use it. We need to download Mouse Without Borders on Microsoft website. I have the link on the description below. If you're there, just click download. If it didn't start yet, click here, then it will be done. It will take a few seconds because it's a very small file. Just go ahead, agree, accept, install this one. It will be a very quick installation. Now take note, this is the first PC. This is my laptop right now. Once I'm done, I'm just going to close that web browser first. It's going to ask us if we have installed Mouse Without Borders from other computers. Of course, this is the first time, no. So take note that you will have a security code here in the computer name which this software is installed. Second, jump into the second PC, download the Mouse Without Borders again, click here, same scenario, install, then next, I agree, install, done. So this is the second time we're going to install it to another PC. It's going to ask us, of course, we're going to say yes. Then we need to put in that security code from the first PC we installed in so that it is a means of communication that they are going to connect to each other and the computer name, okay? So done, we're all done. Linking, okay? It's trying to link both computers. Again, you can do this one with multiple computers. But in my case right now, I'm just doing it with two computers. Okay, you're almost done. Nice work. Well, take note here, guys, both or the computers you wanna connect should be connected with the same network, okay? Now, this is where you can change the password or security code if you want to make it a little bit more friendly so that it's easier to connect these pieces if you want to. Now, below here is the two computers that are connected. You can add more if you want. Now let's try this if it really works. All right, here goes my laptop. And I can move that mouse. Remember that this mouse is connected to my PC. Okay, jump into the PC right away. That's why it's called mouse without borders. So this can work either way. My touchpad can work to the PC if I want to use the touchpad. This keyboard as well, we're trying to test that one out. And then jump back into my laptop try to use the keyboard. Okay, it's working. That's very cool. So I can jump from one PC to another PC. This can work either way, like what I've said earlier, you can use my keyboard of the laptop going to another PC. Anything that is active, it's that's why the name is mouse without borders, but it should say mouse in keyboard without borders. Now you can see the status of that mouse without borders in the lower right corner. You can see the icon which this computer is connected to. Well, I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. Very short video, but I hope it's going to be very useful for you. See you in my next video.